poker vlogs. It seems like almost everyone and their cousin are making poker vlogs these days. And if you clicked on this video, it's likely that you want to make one too. But I understand from experience that starting a poker vlog is a very daunting process. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the exact steps you need to take to start a poker vlog. I hope you have your pens and papers out. Let's get right into it. Step one, douchey trap music. You need to have douchey trap music. Degenerates love douchey trap music. You feel that? You feel that? Yes. These are the sounds that make a degenerate move. Perfect. Now that you've got that, let's work on the introduction. You're going to want an unnecessarily long introduction. The longer you put off playing poker, the better. Contrary to popular belief, degenerates don't come to your poker vlog to watch you play poker. Degenerates come to your poker vlog to watch you drive to the casino to play poker. Eat a burger before you play poker. Shots of the casino. Shots of the fountains outside of the casino. Your fucking cat, Cosmo. Amazing. Now that you've done your introduction right, about 8 minutes into the video is when you'll start your first actual hand review. So now, let's talk about the voiceover. You'll be doing a voiceover for the analysis of this hand. And now you might be wondering, well, what kind of voice do I use? And folks, here is the secret sauce. You want to make sure you use a voice that is as monotonous as possible. Now the reason for this is because everybody needs to understand how goddamn straight you are. After all, this is a very heterosexual, manly card game. What other game talks about nuts, cowboys, sucking out on each other, backdoor flushes, nuts, as much as poker does? As if to bolster the point, I'm in this poker discord group where the guys constantly keep yelling at each other in caps, rail me, rail me, rail me. So don't use your natural voice like I am right now. Use a voice like this. The old man had the nuts on the turn, but I make the nuts on the river. I show the old man my nuts. Nice to suck out on his nuts, causing him to bust. Much better. And to the people at home who might be feeling like what I'm saying is a little controversial, I just really want to stress that this is not just a card game. People's masculinities are on the line. For example, in my first video, I made the grave mistake of wearing a v-neck and earrings, and I just shattered this poor man's masculinity. So to Wes, I deeply apologize. My apology is as deep as my v. So to summarize the point, make sure you use your most boring ass, monotonous, went to a high school with no drama department voice as possible. Great. Now if you have followed each step that I have lined out, you'll find that you've now gained some popularity. At this point, you'll need to associate yourself with a specific hand. For example, Brad Owen has Jiggities, Rampage Poker has The Hand. For me, I like Pocket Kings, so I need to give them a catchy name. Now some people call them Cowboys, I call them Brokeback Mountain. That's all the time we have for today, but make sure you tune in next week for part 2 of How to Make a Poker Vlog, Dismantling Toxic Masculinity Within a Patriarchy. <laughs>